Okay, we're just Corey gonna pick up this to little bit. His tax uh, cut Corey. Ways into his new home. And just a regular and guy. Lost his job in 2008. As uh, Donald Trump Corey, just said. Corey. Please stand. Uh, no, guy. Uh, what? I think it is introducing Corey that who lost his job during Obama 2008, you see. Because um, remember, it was a huge depression, remember? People were foreclosing right and left. But now he and just he's got a great everyone. welder. Uh, got I was told that by the man that owns that company that's doing so well. So congratulations, Corey. Since we passed okay, so tax cuts, roughly three guy. million workers have already Since gotten tax cut, a cut bonuses. bonuses. Many of them, thousands oh, right. and thousands. You guys of should be leaping, leaping, thousands. AT and T, hundreds and thousands of people, Apple even Walmart. Just announced it plans uh, to invest Apple. a total of three hundred and fifty billion dollars in yeah. America and hire another twenty. Isn't that Steve Jobs? The uh, he's. Uh, Founder of Apple. So who's this guy? Uh, he's obviously very happy. As you see, everybody's kissing up to Trump that they want to come back to America instead of making a hostile as Obama and did. They want to Exxon invest. Mobile announced a fifty billion dollar investment wow. in the United States. Just a little Ex Mobil. It was very hostile when the Obama uh, like tried to Cut the throats of these this, big in fact, oil companies. This is our new American so. moment. There has never oil been a better time. Oil production to start makes you rich. All right. Don't be dream. a dumb dumb. Look at Saudi so Arabia. Do I have to beg them for every bucket of oil? Out of no your mind. We you got oil right in the backyard. From, Dig, baby. Let's go to Alaska. If you work hard, if you believe in yourself, Dig, baby. Dig. If you believe in America, then you mm. can dream anything. You can be anything. And together, I don't we want to can be achieve anything. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> anything. So he, I think he's saying that he's setting aside for the household. Uh, we are changing the rudder, the direction of this ship. It was the sinking Titanic, um, you know, driving people off right and left. The investors are coming back. So the message is about prosperity, Tonight, I believe. I That's why he wanted to set a tone. I'm talking about this is my have, household, so do not not respect my be. leader All of, of the household head. Together, All right, as one we're team, just a one family, people, a big family. American family can do anything. I can't believe he said that. We all share I just said, the same home. Wow, as if I heart, I know what he was going to say. The same destiny. And the same great American flag. Yes, you're on this ship with American flag, not some other flag, not the Chinese flag, not the Kami flag, not Haitian flag. I mean, no, you know, not any other flag. You are here under one flag. Otherwise, you are a traitor. Uh, so that's the message, okay? There's Together, the flag. we are rediscovering. We the don't American need way. no infiltrators. In America, we know that don't you don't you dare to hate my country. Don't hate America. Are the center of American life. Yeah, we don't the want no government. Fuck up government. In God we trust. In God we trust. Not the fucking government. See, that's even what the lady said. The lady that does not know what the state of union is all about. Um, she kept saying he was a, a union boss, addressed to the union boss. No, I guess the name State of the Union does not sound appealing, but I said it's setting agenda, the tone for this new and household our police, our uh, leader. And our household head, all right. So if you have a house, you're going to say, hey, honey, uh, this year we're going to move to Michigan or whatever. You set the tone. That's basically what we're doing. That's what the State of the Union is, to set the tone. What is his dreams, his goals, to make us better, not make us worse, not make us uh, uh, be hated, be uh, trampled upon Preston by everybody Shaw, else that to rip a us off. A 12-year-old boy from Redding, yeah. California, who noticed that veterans' graves yeah. were not marked with flags on Veterans Day. He decided Preston all Shaw by himself from Flower to change that. Wow. And started a movement that has now placed 40,000 flags at the graves of our great heroes. Preston, a cool. job well done. 
and you have the best looking first lady. Uh, not just the dude, Michael, uh, what's her, his name, Michelle, Michael, whatever. Remember Joan Rivers uh, got murdered, lost her life because she said that where do you have a tranny or Michelle is a man or something, tranny, that was funny. Okay, that's that.